Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the seventh episode of the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast. Woo woo! I said, I posted a uh, post some some social medias last night, and I was like, "Hey, ready for the first late night Dynamite Gizmo Podcast?" Uh oh, what happened? I didn't do it. Didn't end up happening. So this is the one uh, taking its place. We're doing it the early morning special, so bring the pancakes. Bring the pancakes, like I said. Bring the motherfucking pancakes, because it's 10 in the morning, which isn't that early. I still got uh, bags under my eyes because I fell asleep. See, what was happening around 11? No, 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 no. Around 8.30-ish, I posted the social media, Twitter shit, and, and whatnot. And then... I was like, yeah, I'm going to have a little bit of a sleep. I'll wake up around 11, and I'll be ready for the midnight podcast, which was 10 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, or whatever it is, PST. Uh, Okay. And I went to sleep, and then I woke up, and I was like, oh, my God, I am too tired to do this midnight special. So I didn't do it. I said, fuck it, bitch. I'm going to say fuck it. So I said, fuck it. And I didn't do it. <laughs> I'm not trying to be an asshole, but that's what happened. Like anyone cares. No one's watching. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Get it on. So I got two cards this time. You see? I got two cards. I usually just have one. Now I got two. So we got lots of stuff to talk about. Oh. And it's so early in the morns. But that's okay. And as you can see, I got my Yeti back. Which I never really had them in the first place. I used to use them. I got snots in my nose. I used to use this guy. When I was doing my gaming vids. On my gaming channel on YouTube. Dynamite Gizmo Gaming. Uh... Which I could, uh, you know, I, I might do some gaming on Twitch, but maybe I won't. All right. So this microphone used to be right on this stand right here. Those people on YouTube, it would be right there. <laughs> Isn't that cool? That's so stupid. Yeah, this mic used to be back there. Maybe one day. Actually, I'm not going to ruin the surprise. I'll tell you what. I'm not going to tell you what's going to happen with this shit back here. Mm -mm -mm. But you'll find out in the later episodes of the Dynamite Gizmo podcast. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. Here we go. We're going to start with the first thing on the first card, which is police tickets. Police. Fuck the police coming straight from the underground. Young nigga got it back because I'm brown. And not the other color that police think. They had the authority to kill a minority. You tell them, Ice Cube. NWA flight. Police giving out tickets, you see. Police have this thing that they do. Where they give, they issue tickets. When uh, they feel you're, you're doing something wrong in your vehicle. Okay. And at the end of the month... If they haven't met their quota, oh, they uh, go out and look for people breaking the law so they can make their quota. They want to, their whole basis of making money is expecting people to break the law so they can continue to work. So they just go looking for shit. And you got these ridiculous things. I bring it up because I got two tickets recently. One for uh, speeding. And one for expired license. Okay, so the license was expired. It's uh, six months or six years valid. Uh, with no notification telling you that it's expired. So it, it expired on me. I had to pay almost four hundred dollars to just the ticket, okay. But to get my uh, 
the ticket was four hundred dollars, but to go if he said go to the the cop told me to go to the registration place and get my license renewed, which only costs eighty bucks. But that's it, you just get your license you pay eighty bucks, take your picture. And then your license is valid again. So why couldn't the cop just say go get your go pay the eighty bucks? Why do we have to have this four hundred dollar ticket on top of that? You know what I'm saying? It's not like I had to go redo a test. It's not like <clears throat> you know. He's like, oh, this this is bad. Your your license is expired. You're driving with an expired license, my man. But what does it matter? Because all you got to do is pay 80 bucks to get your license renewed and you can start driving again. If you just think about it, just think about it. It's, you know, you're, you're, you, this illusion of giving someone money to keep your license valid. It doesn't make you a more competent driver or anything. It just shows that you uh, paid money to the government. So that's all it is. It's just money. It's just ways of snagging money from people. Snag, please snag money from people, which they. Sh that's why they're so not respected in a way. Well, there's other things. I mean, the 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 whole. When they beat people up like that and shit, and shoot people for no reason, that's that you know that's something to think about too. But but why can't they make money other ways, and just do what cops are supposed to do? And if they see someone in danger, they protect, they save the day. But instead, they're just cruising around eating donuts, sitting on the side of highways, waiting for motherfuckers to be zooming by. And they whip on their liggity lights and pull you over and give you fucking tickets. Ruin your fucking day is what they do. They don't save you. They ruin your day. Police, they are here to ruin your day. To tow your car and take your money. That's what they do. They will steal your car. They will take your money. If you're if you haven't paid the eighty bucks to have your license renewed, they're bullies. That's that's insane. If you think about it, you're driving around with, let's say, uh, your license is is out of date by like a month. Okay, that cop can call a tow truck, have your car towed, and he can give you a four hundred dollar ticket. Because you haven't paid 80 bucks to get your picture taken. That's crazy. That's the real message I'm trying to portray here. But what do I know? Who cares what I have to say? Next. Oh, what do we got here? Chef farts on plate. Chef. You know what a chef is? A chef is someone who... Let me Let me move up forward for this one. So I'm not sitting in the same position the whole time, so it doesn't matter anyway. Whoa. Is that loose or is that just my imaginations? Oh, Satan. Satan. One second, y'all. Ow. It's still loose, m boys. Boys. Oh, that's better. That's a little better. Chef farts on plate. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking when I wrote this one down, but like I said, I have to say everything on the card. Chef farts on plate. So, there was a chef once who would serve his f he would serve his food. But before he would put it onto the customer's plate, he would uh, put it down the back side of his jeans or whatever the fuck he was wearing, whatever chefs wear on their pants. He pulled it. He put it. He put it in there so that the the plate was uh, right where his asshole was, to 
in between his two cheekies, and he blew farts on the plate. He pulled it out and put the food on it. So he'd fart on the plate before <laughs> he'd serve the food. Isn't that fun? <laughs> that sounds like a fun game. I want, if I was a chef, I'd give it a shot once. If I had, if I had someone I didn't like, if there was someone I didn't like, I'd uh, I'd fart on their plate. Who cares? It's just a fart. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't fart on plates, but I would. I would totally fart on a plate. Ooh, the next one is debt. Ugh, gross. I hate that word because I'm in a lot of debt right now. I'm in insane amounts of debt. So much debt, you would think that, um, uh, I don't know what you would think. You would think I was Donald Trump going bankrupt. <laughs> That's not funny. Don't laugh at that. Oh, debt. What can I say about debt? It sucks. I don't want, there's nothing else to say about it. Hmm. You know what I should, uh, uh oh. Okay, I'd have to go this way. I gotta reverse this mic again. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. It's just driving me crazy. Oh. Drop my fidget cube. Oh. Ah! Oh, it's all the way over there. I can't even reach it. And I'm not getting up. I got headphones on. That's the new excuse of the future. I'm not going to talk about debt. Fuck that. At least I brought it up. I brought it up, but I don't want to talk about it. It's been to start. I like it. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to cry. People stunt growth of evolution. Oh, my God. How deep are we getting here? People stunt the yes 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 okay here's what I was saying when people when this happens when people stunt people are stunts <laughs> people <sighs> I'll give you an example of people stunting the growth of evolution well it's basically old people old people love their old ways. They always have to tell you how good it used to be back in the day. I remember back in the day when we didn't have no fancy computers and we had to drive the cars by ourselves. We had to actually steer. It built character. That's all you ever hear around here. It built character. But what's character? A character is a... Uh, a made up, a fictional interpretation of something. So why would you want to build character? You don't want to build character. You want to build your own personality. And you do that by embracing future concepts. But old people cannot grasp that idea. They want to stick to the all ways, the hammer and the chisel. I don't need no pneumatic tools. Give me a fucking chisel. I can do it way better than a goddamn air-powered tool. And they get pissed off at artificial intelligence. They say they want to control their vehicle, but they don't understand how shitty the reaction time is. If you sat an old motherfucker in the seat of anything a vehicle and put him on the highway and you threw a deer out in front of him his reaction time would be insanely slow but if you let that computer control itself that car control itself with the computer and you threw that deer out in front of him it would react within milliseconds boom it would send signals to all the right tires whatever it needed to do in milliseconds it's calculating this shit because it can do it. It's a fucking computer. And it would stop and it would save your life and it would do what it needed to do to avoid the deer. And it may hit the deer, but at least it would do the least amount of damage it could have possibly done. Whereas you would do 
probably the most amount of damage, depending on how fast you were, which you wouldn't be that fast. But then you got to start thinking about, well, if it's doing the least amount of damage it could possibly do, and you got a group of, like a crowd of people here, and then there's like a, a baby in a stroller here, okay? And the car is going under control, it's hydroplaning, and then it gets traction, but it's not enough time to, to actually break before it hits either the group of people or the baby, but it ha it's going to hit one of them, and it has to make the choice. The computer has to make a choice. Well, I'm going to hit the baby because I'm going to save all a bunch of other people. Or is it going to hit all the people? It's probably going to hit the baby. So that wouldn't be too good. But if you were a human, what would you do? See, the human would still hit something. It's not like the computer is evil and went for the baby. If the human was in control, the human would still have to hit one of the two options. But which one would the human hit? I can't say. But I don't know. But either way... The artificial intelligence does the least amount of damage it could possibly do. If it's driving on the highway, and there's lines on the road, you got your, your white lines, and then you got your dotted lines and solid yellow lines, depending on what part of the country you're in, and it detects them constantly. It's got sensors all around the vehicle. It's got cameras all around the vehicle. And if it ever, and it's got backup backup sensors and backup computers if one fails it's got more and if it ever got to a point where it would lose control which i've said this before in the podcast but if it ever got to a point where it would lose completely control it would warn you and tell you hey bitch you got to take control of this the train's going off but it wouldn't get to that point there's so much the the, the when it becomes feasible which tesla's car already is I mean the Tesla car, not Tesla's car, the Tesla car by Elon Musk. Just kidding, I know it's Musk. But those sensors are there for you. <sighs> People just don't get it. They don't get it. They think they think they can take better control just because that's what they're used to. We gotta embrace and understand what is going on and do a little research. And once you do the little, little bit of research, you'll, and if you have an open enough mind, which a lot of old people don't because they're very religious, they're so fucking religious, it's unbelievable. But they'll die, and then my generation will grow up. Every fucking person, whenever I go out to clubs or wherever, and it's just people my age hanging around, you can go up to any of them and talk and have a good time. And none of them are religious. They all, they're, we're all, we've all grew up with the internet, so we all are able to access this information. And we have. But we're still too young to express it in a in a way that's gonna change people's minds and make people think. Because there's all our parents and our grandparents, they're not they don't give a fuck what what someone my age would have to say because they're older and they're way more experienced. So if we try to convince them of this shit, it's just going to go in one ear and out the other. They're not even really going to pay attention. And even if they do, they're still not going to agree. Because they're going to feel like they're right. Because they've been there, done uh, Dr. Dre. Let's ask Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, I don't have the 2001 album. I thought I did. I do. I just don't have it on a uh, disc. I should get it. Plaster it right here. Right next to the Chronic. Chronic 2001. I mean Chronic. And then the Chronic 2001. <laughs> oh, you can't even see it. Look. Chronic. Dr. Dre. 
Let's ask Dr. Dre, Dr. Dre, I got a question if I may, is it gay to play but but golf with a friend? So that's uh, people stunting the growth of evolution. Alex Jones refuses Trump to come on his show. Alex Jones posted a video yesterday where he had two motherfuckers with cell phones filming him because he wanted to be more uh, real. He was saying, this is what the people want. Or, like, that's not his voice at all. His voice is more raspy. Uh, how, can I even do it? <laughs> nope. But look up Alex Jones. You'll recognize him right away. He's from InfoWars. Created that shit way back in the day. And uh, he's friends with Joe Rogan. Anyway. he Donald Trump called him to congratulate him about him getting remarried and offered to come on his show and then uh, Alex Jones said no you don't have to Um, you got too much going on you don't have to come on my show and I don't I may be wrong I'm probably wrong but this is just a thought that came to my mind I'm not saying this is what I believe in but why would uh, Alex Jones refused to have Donald Trump on his show, the president of the United States, the the biggest controversy of the world. Why would he not have him on his show? If if Donald Trump said that to me, I'd be like, oh my God, yes. And I'd book the date right there. That just doesn't seem like an opportunity you can pass up. If the president, especially a president like Donald Trump, offers to come on your show, you would accept. You know how hard it would be to get Donald Trump on your show? He just, he said, I bet he says no to everything. So why would, I don't, I don't understand why, why uh, Alex Jones would refuse to have Donald Trump on his show. Why wouldn't he, unless, And I'm not saying he's a liar, but that could be, like, is he lying? Did Donald Trump not actually ask him to come on his show? Who knows? It's just a thought. I'm not saying it's it's true. I mean, Alex Jones is is pretty well known now. He's been around forever. Uh, I could see Donald Trump being friends with him. But I don't know. Why would you refuse to have the president on your show? Even if he was just trying to be nice. Don't be nice. Just say yes. Come on my show. What is this? That's the next That's the next tick. It says, what is this? On Instagram, I posted a picture of like a blue thing. And it said, what is this? Find out tonight on the Dynamite Gizmo podcast late night special. But it didn't happen. This is the one. Uh, uh, What was it? It was my couch. And the blue light from my PlayStation controller was shining on the fabric of the couch. And I snaped a pic. That's what it was. If you're interested in what that picture looked like, uh, go on my Instagram, Dynamite, or no. Yeah, Dynamite Gizmo. Yeah. Yeah, it's Dynamite Gizmo. Just like everything else except for Twitter. Video games is the next one. Wow, specifically, World of Warcraft. Remember that game? Of course you do. People still play it. I was pretty hooked on that game for uh, in high school, and then I got hooked on it again when I got out of high school. I don't really play it. No, I don't play it at all anymore. But I wanted to bring video games up because video games are now uh, like a sport in a way. They have their own show on. Uh, they have their own video game show. Whatever it is on ESPN or wherever. I don't think it's on ESPN. It might be. I don't know. But 
it's like competitions and it's been going on for a few years now but it's pretty crazy to think about how much money these people make just by playing video games but they are pretty hardcore and I couldn't do the shit that they do it's fascinating fascinating I prefer doing these podcasts at night to be honest I'm going to be honest with you I don't know if I'll do an early morning podcast ever again. But that's okay. I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I'm bored. Because I like doing these. These are fun. I enjoy doing them. That's why I've made so many so far. But I don't want to make them too often. Because I don't want to get bored of it. And feel like I'm running out of topics to talk about. But I don't know if that's going to happen. Because I look at... I hate bringing up Joe Rogan so much, but he is one of my inspirations for doing this. But he has over 900 podcasts, and he's been doing it for years now. And I'm like, wow. He's Well, if he's not getting bored of it and not running out of topics, that means I can do it. So that's what I'm doing. Podcast Central. Podcast Poop. Podcast Makes Me Want to Eat Fruit Loop. So like I said, this this little area here, sometime in the future you're going to see what I'm going to do with it. But right now, it's just a nice little backdrop, like, like my CDs. I actually bought, oh, I got a nice booger hanging out, thanks for telling me. <laughs> I bought this backdrop and a nice stand. <laughs> it's in there. Uh, I might in. I'm probably gonna include that eventually. But right now, no. Ah, the lit fuse vlog. One second. Yeah, it's raining. April showers bring May flowers, but it's May. Why is it still raining? I don't care. I love rain. Keep the keep the rain coming. <gasps> Have you ever seen the rain? Oh, I want to know. Have you ever seen the rain? Coming down the Oh, I got a message. <laughs> ah, okay. Lit Fuse Vlogs. There was a time back in 1994. Just kidding. Like uh, two years ago, a year ago. Yeah, probably 2015. Uh, I would sit in my vehicle and I would smoke the ganja and... I would just pull out my phone, press record on the record audio, and I would just sit there for like an hour or two and just talk. But I would be, I'd be blasted up in space, really, really up there, and I would have so much fun laughing at myself, listening to music, something for a little bit. And that's what I'd do. And uh, I uploaded one episode, I think. Don't know if it's still up there. It's probably gone. Or maybe I didn't even upload it. But I might have. Let me go see if I did. I want to. I hit the mute button. Okay, let me just check if I. Put it on YouTube. Lit Fuse Vlogs. If I didn't, I might upload one. Because I still have them all saved. On. My computes. My computer. I didn't wear the glasses today. I know I said I was going to wear the glasses so that there would be less confusion of which camera I'm looking at because I have to look at two cameras. All right, I forgot. My internet is extremely slow because I am uh, live streaming. So fuck it. I can't even. It's too slow. 
I have the, I live in a small town. Internet is slow as slow can slow. So the lift fuse vlog, I might know both. Okay, so next tick. I wish I had more viewers. <laughs> That's my next tick. I wish I had more viewers. I wish I had more viewers. But the uh, the key and Greg Ben, uh, what's his name from fucking Wheezy Waiter? Benzine, I think his name is. I don't know. His his uh theory was just keep making videos. Just do it. Just keep making, making, making. And that's, uh, I, I totally agreed with it back then and I still agree with it now. If you just keep, if you keep consistent, how, whatever you consider consistent, but don't, don't, uh, just upload frequently, is what I'd say. Don't upload once a month. Don't upload bi-weekly. Tr if you can, try to upload every day. Or at least three times a week. You gotta be, you gotta keep going. You gotta be consistent because as soon as you slow down, people go away. And it takes sometimes it takes a while to get them back, and sometimes you'll never get them back. Most times you'll never get them back if you slow down to the point where you stop for a couple months or even, you know, whatever it'll be, even a couple of weeks. You could stop for a couple of weeks. Your audience is gonna leave. And they ain't coming back. Because you have uh, such a wide range of content on YouTube. And even just the internet in general. So if you slow down and stop, they're just going to move on. It's not like back in the day when you only had 50 TV shows to choose from. It ain't like that anymore, Grandpa. We got choices, bitch, so so fucking move on. Aha, the next question relates to Joe Rogan again. What a surprise. What a surprise. It says, do you like Red Band? Brian Red Band is his, uh, well, used to be his co-host on the Joe Rogan Experience. And he produced the show with the Death Squad. But I don't know what happened. He's not with him anymore. He comes on the show sometimes. But I think he's still with Death Squad. I don't know. But he's got a guy named Jamie now who's off camera. But Ro Brian Redman used to be in every episode. And at first I didn't really like him. But then he kind of grew on me. But then I kind of didn't. And I, I still have mixed feelings about him. I don't know if I, if I like him or not. So I want to ask. What do y'all think of Brian Redman? Notice how I went through this whole card. And it's only 36 minutes in. Whereas last time I did the podcast, I had one full card. And I went like an hour and ten minutes. It all depends on how long you can talk about the topic. And at night time, I can talk for a lot longer. But when it's early in the morning, I feel like I got shit to do. But I don't. But I'd still prefer doing them at night. I don't know. I like doing stuff at night. I prefer. I'm a night person. I like night stuff. Mm, we got so on the next card we only have three little things to talk about here first tick which we probably aren't going to talk about the first two really at all because <laughs> they're just ridiculous but the first one i don't even know okay the first one is look at that guy in mercedes that's what it says look can you see that Look at that guy in the Mercedes. Yeah, okay. Um, I don't even know what that means. Uh, I was pretty uh, blazed when I was writing these up as well, I can tell. Uh, let me try to remember what I was talking about. Oh, I know, like rich guys driving around in their Mercedes. I'm not saying I hate them, because I don't. But not just Mercedes, Jags, Lambies, Bugattis. You don't really see that too often. But uh, as soon as you see them, you're like, whoa. You look at the person hopping in and you're like, that guy's getting in. Look at that guy. I bet he's got a big mansion. You just assume all this stuff right away. And it's fascinating to just watch people 
Look at that guy getting the Mercedes. Look at him getting the Jaguar. He's so rich. <laughs> that guy's so rich. I wish I was him. Anyway, that's what I was saying. Next, uh, the next tick, I don't even know what the fuck. It says pooped selling chocolate. I gotta think about this because I obviously I don't write it down unless I want to talk about it. But well, sometimes I'll write crazy shit. But pooped selling chocolate. What? I don't even know what I was thinking when I wrote that pooped selling chocolate. Anyway, okay, next one cashed in animal language. Cashton brought up this idea to me a few years ago. That was the guy on the last guest on the show, the first guest. Uh, uh, animal language. He said, I think animals could have a language. They talk to each other. Uh, and I, th- and I th- kind of, I denied it, but like, I didn't quite den- deny it in a way where I was like, no, they don't have language, you idiot. But I was just thinking about it today. And they do have a language, but it's it's not as complex as ours, not even as close to as complex. So if a tiger, a female tiger is sleeping, and a male comes up to the f- sleeping tiger and pats her on the shoulder, she's going to wake up all grumpy and growl at him and say, fuck off. Well, she's not going to say fuck off, she's just going to growl at him and swat at him. Because that's her instinctual thing to do. She feels as though she was getting attacked in her sleep. But her growling and swatting at him is her way of saying, back the fuck up, and he backs the fuck up. And then they just kind of walk away. They don't talk. They don't say, hey, stop waking me up. If they could do that, she wouldn't have to growl at him. So they don't have language of words. They have a language of expression. And... There's only so much you can express. So they have so that's why it's so basic. If they show they're happy, they'll rub up to each other. If they show they're content, they'll like squint their eyes, I think. But not just tigers, like every animal. They can't talk. Except except like dolphins and whales and stuff. They have they have a language. They can make they make noises. They have words in their own their own way. It's not like our words. They have their own way of communicating. Like. But it's sonar. Whales. <laughs> Whales. Like Dory. How many people like Ellen DeGeneres? I think in the future, if I ever get viewers, I'm going to start giving these cards away. You want a card? Write a like, comment, and subscribe. That stupid bullshit that people do. And I'll pick a random comment. And I'll uh, give cards away. But I'm not going to do it till I have a decent audience. Decent. De- oh my god. Decent. Decent. You don't watch uh, Trailer Park Boys? That's what that's from. So I said we, we, we ran through one and a half cards in 42 minutes. Eskimo pussy juice. Okay, I guess that's it then. I hope you enjoyed the Dynamite Gizmo podcast episode 7. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Reginald Jackson is my friend. Is my friend.